So this question looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question. Uh, translate word problem questions are typically four or more lines long. And the whole strategy there is just to make sure I'm writing down any quantitative information as I read. So the first sentence here says an object is kicked from a platform. All right, I'm going to just actually plug a picture in. I'm going to make my object a ball. It's going to be kicked, right? This platform is that high. This is the ground. The equation h equals negative. I don't, anytime I see equations, I like to write them down. So h equals negative 4.9t squared plus 15t plus 5 represents this situation where h is the height of the object above the ground. So here's my drawing. So here is h. It's that height in meters. T seconds after it is kicked. Okay, so then let me adjust my picture then because that is not the H that I thought it was. So if this is my platform, this is the ground, and the ball is kicked, let's say that way, then in essence, at some point in time, that represents my height. It's where the actual ball is at some time, T. Which number represents the height in meters of the platform? Okay. So the only bit of information that was given to us is this equation. We know that the H in this equation has to do with height. The question is asking us for the height of the platform. Now we know that the height of the object is H. So the height of the object is on the platform before the object is kicked. Right After it's kicked, it's off the platform, and we, we don't know what that height actually is. But we do know if we figure out how long the ball or the object has been in the air, we can just plug the t value into this equation and figure out that height. But if the question wants the height in meters of the platform, in essence, what that is saying is that what, where is the ball when t equals zero? Right Before you kick the ball, before the clock starts, the ball is on the platform. So when t is equal to zero, that means this entire quantity here becomes zero. 15 times t also becomes zero. And all we have left is five, right? So we'd have like h equals zero plus zero plus five, which obviously means h equals five, which means that this five must represent the height of the platform, right? The height before the object is kicked. So our answer is choice C.